just walk into the gym like what's going on like i don't know anything about sets and reps so just because you see everybody drinking protein shakes that does not mean that you need to drink them as well i know it grows the booty and everything but damn i don't like pain it's time to let them go <laughs> and i'm happy because i get to save my money hey guys welcome back to another video i'm tashika bailey and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button down below and join the family so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i've gained weight now i've seen the comments i've seen you guys commenting on how i'm looking a little bit thicker than usual how some people are saying i look pregnant i see you <laughs> A lot of people are saying that they can see the results, which is good. I want you guys to see the results because I've been putting in work. I've been doing this whole journey now for one whole year. If you guys didn't know, my fitness journey started in November 2021. That was when I made the decision that I'm going to invest in this fitness journey. And I'm actually going to do it seriously and be consistent with it. So I made a couple of changes and I'm going to share it with you guys. I've got a whole list here of all the things that I did. Also including some tips that you guys can do if you're also trying to gain weight. If you want to gain weight, you have to eat food. That's it. That's your answer. Eat food. <laughs> I know it sounds easy, but I know that it's not. Because a lot of us slimmer girls, we struggle to eat. Most of the time we don't have an appetite. And we have a fast metabolism. So we don't keep on the weight even if we do put it on. We really have to work at it and try our best to like maintain it and keep it. You know what I mean? So I went from 46, I think, or 48... 48 kg to 56 kg and that is within a year and I know that might be a lot to some people or it might be little to some people but for me that is actually a lot because for the longest time I was trying to gain weight and I just couldn't like this is not the first time I made a decision to gain weight I've started going to the gym before this whole journey and I wasn't consistent with it and I just fell off I stopped going completely and that was it so that didn't work but this time as I said I made some changes and I'm actually seeing real results and you guys can too so the first tip is to eat in a calorie surplus everyone's body needs a certain amount of calories to keep it running and you know be functional and effective so you need to work out what that is for you and add an extra 500 to a thousand calories on top of that per day okay it's gonna take a lot of work but it's what you need to do and that's what i did as well so my goal was 3000 calories a day which is a bit high especially because i think before that i was eating I don't even know if I was eating a thousand calories a day but yeah my calorie intake before this journey was pretty low like it was very very low I'd have like one meal a day and I'd be good I really had to train myself to eat more food and I don't believe in force feeding that is not something that I believe in but just having like a high calorie snack or a high calorie meal is perfect so what i would do is i would have meals that are high calorie because eating often throughout the day i just couldn't do it because i didn't have the appetite so i'd have one meal that was very high in calorie and then i'd have snacks and then i'll try and have like two meals with snacks and then three meals with snacks you always have to have snacks in between just to add up, add up that calories and yeah get your protein intake as well so an example of a high calorie meal that i would have is chicken korma style curry with green beans and basmatic rice and this recipe is actually from hello fresh hello fresh is a weekly meal kit delivery service and they deliver recipes straight to your door so that means if you see a meal online that you really really love the look of you don't have to waste time researching the recipe and you also get to save time from shopping in a supermarket i know that is such a hassle especially for me i know if you're busy after work or you've just come back from the gym you don't want to be in the kitchen preparing food for 
an hour or, or cooking for an hour as well you just want to have your food you know nice and, and easy and quick especially if you're like me like I don't like cooking it's not for me trust me when I get older I'm going to have my own personal chef <laughs> because cooking life no it's not for me i like my meals nice and easy to cook the chicken korma style curry now this has green beans as and basmatic rice in it it has 635 calories per serving which is a lot of calories so for me who's trying to gain weight i'll have that twice I will actually have that twice in a day and double the calories because I love chicken and I love rice and it's just so simple to cook. I made this meal the other day and guys, not only was the ingredients and the recipe delivered straight to my door and it was fresh, the chicken was also diced. The chicken came cut up. Like, I did not have to cut up the chicken myself. Do you know how happy I was when I saw that? I was I probably got the knife out and I was ready to cut up the chicken. When I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness. Trust me, guys. I'm telling you, HelloFresh makes preparing a meal so quick and simple. All the recipes come with step-by-step -step instructions. There's all the ingredients that you need on the back and the nutritional information as well. So it's very quick and easy to prepare. I'm telling you guys, this is honestly a game changer. I don't have to walk around in the supermarket anymore going shopping for a meal and I don't have to cut up my own chicken, <laughs> which is the best part. If you guys want to get yourself your own HelloFresh box, then you can use my code Tashika60 to get 60% off your first box and 25% off for the next two months. Can you believe that discount? That is a huge saving. Guys, please take advantage of this code. I'm telling you, HelloFresh, they're the way forward. So another thing that I've been doing as a part of my fitness journey is tracking my calories. Now this one is also very important because how are you going to know how much calories you're eating if you don't track it? It just doesn't make sense, right? So I use an app to track my calories and I can't lie, in the beginning it was very, very tedious and I didn't enjoy it. I would skip days or even a week or two <laughs> and I just wouldn't put any information on the app because I just wasn't into it but then when I thought about it and I realized I was like yeah I have to get on top of this because it's going to help me get to the goal that I've set so I use an app to track to make sure that I'm on top of the calories and if I need to eat more that day I can see clearly in the app if I do and how much more calories I'll need so if it's something small I'll just have a snack or if I know that I need to eat a lot of calories I, I can prepare a meal so that way I have you know I hit my goal because I like hitting my goal and it actually feels good when I upload everything that I eat or I add everything that I eat and I see that I'm hitting my goals over a couple of days it makes me feel good so now I'm actually doing it more consistently and it hasn't been as tedious it, it's gotten better so I feel like the more you do it the more you get into it and it will kind of stick because even now I haven't been going to the gym for about two weeks because I had my eyebrows microbladed and I've been bulking in that time so I've been eating and I've also been tracking my calories and who's asking me to track my calories no one <laughs> no one's asking me but yeah I'm still doing it and I'm actually enjoying it so I'd advise you guys to do it as well the third tip that I would give you guys is to eat food that you enjoy I know there's some people who are you know gym rats or you know gym babes and we see things online like a recipe or snacks or something and we'll go and buy it and we know that we don't eat whatever that is so I have um, like a packet of nuts that I haven't even ate I've got it right here I've got a whole packet of nuts that I bought in 2020 and 
they've pretty much expired on me i haven't even opened them but i bought it because i know that they're high in calories so if i needed a calorie boost a particular day or two i could have it but i'm not really a big fan of nuts so i've basically wasted it but i have in my head that maybe if i buy these and i have them in the house i would eat them because i don't like wasting my money but yeah that didn't work because my money has been wasted <laughs> so i would say guys be realistic be realistic and eat things that you actually enjoy um don't just buy things and buy food because you see other people eating it because yeah you're just gonna end up wasting your money your time or you're gonna be forcing yourself to eat something that you don't enjoy and that's not gonna make this journey enjoyable for you a great example of this is I saw people taking protein shakes, like everyone that goes to the gym, they're hooked on these protein shakes. So I went and bought myself this big tub, like this massive tub of protein mass gainer. And guys, you, I think you know the one that I'm talking about. I've mentioned it before in a couple of videos, but that protein shake is thick. It is heavy, especially with milk. And I can't finish it. I honestly cannot finish it i have to split it into two but it's almost as if i'm forcing myself because i do not enjoy it but i've been seeing everyone like drinking protein shakes so i thought oh maybe that is what i need to do as a part of my journey as well to help me get my protein intake even though at the time i was prioritizing calories over protein because that was the beginning stage and i was trying to balk but you can also get protein in your food so you don't have to have protein shakes. I haven't had one of those protein shakes in months and I'm still hitting my protein intake goal with just my food. Sometimes I do have like um, like a little protein bar or I've got protein pudding recently. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I have, um, I take protein yogurt. So there's other products as well that you can get a protein boost from apart from protein shakes. So just because you see everybody drinking protein shakes, that does not mean that you need to drink them as well. Do what works for you. So another thing that I did was go to the gym. Not just go to the gym, but I also invested in a personal trainer. Now this for me was very important to keep me consistent because as I mentioned earlier I did actually try this whole gym journey before where I said I'm going to go to the gym. I took out a membership and I was actually paying it out of my own money. My own money. I was paying for a gym membership and guess how many times I went to the gym in one month. I'm actually a bit embarrassed like I went to the gym like once or twice for the whole month <laughs> even now thinking about it i'm like you're actually crazy but this is why i decided to invest in a personal trainer because i didn't want to make that same mistake i wanted to see results this time so even though trainers are a bit pricey remember that you're not just investing in your physical appearance you're investing in your health and you can't put a price on health I knew that I needed somebody to be with me in the gym and help me with my form and teach me stuff because I was a completely new beginner. Um, the gym kind of intimidated me, I can't lie. It just looked big and scary and then there's just bare men in the gym all the time, every day lifting like these heavy weights. Um, and I was just like a little newbie, a very little, very small. And I'm just walking to the gym like, what's going on? Like, I don't know anything about sets and reps. I need to learn. So I invested in a trainer, somebody that could pour knowledge into me and show me what I needed to do. So if you're in a position where you can, that is definitely something that you should look into. And you should definitely try, even if it's just for six months or a year. I've actually um, stopped training with my personal trainer this year. So I'm going to be just training by myself from now on. I feel like I'm at a point where I've learned so much from my trainer about like my form. I've learned about like certain exercises, what muscles they target. Um, I've learned so much and I don't feel like he's doing much for me right now. So yeah, it's time to let him go. <laughs> and I'm happy because I get to save my money. So one thing that I would say is that if you don't have a trainer, you're not planning to invest in a trainer, what you should do is research exercises for the body you want 
based on your goals so for example if you know you want to grow your glutes you have to research exercises and do exercises that will grow your glutes so you have to do a little bit of research and this is what I was trying to cut out which is why I got the trainer I didn't want to be online researching information about exercising um, muscles and what exercises target where and I just didn't have the time for it so I just pay my trainer go to the gym and then he will just tell me what to do and explain to me oh, if I'm doing um, bicep curls which muscle group it works and he'll just show me oh this is where it's, this is where it's working <laughs> in, on your arms if you're doing deadlifts squats you'll just tell me so I don't have to research it on my own because yeah if you have money you might as well use it to make your life easier for you money is a tool to make your life easier along with that a tip that I would give is to write down the exercises that you do or your workout routine yeah write down your workout routine you don't want to get to the gym and you don't know what you're doing you're 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 just there kind of confused this has happened to me sometimes I'll train on my own not often because I just wasn't confident training by myself even after I was training with my trainer for six months eight months I still wasn't confident on my own I just felt like I needed that person there you know but I got him to send me my actual workout so when I was going by myself I could see the exercises that I needed to do and if I was doing like upper body, lower body, what muscle group they target and stuff like that because I'm telling you without him and without that that guide I wouldn't have a clue. Before he actually sent me the guide and the workout routine I was asking the other trainers in the gym <laughs> what kind of exercise so I'd be like oh I want to do legs today what exercises do you recommend that I do? They'll tell me to do squats, they'll tell me to do hip thrusts, um, they'll tell me to do like a bunch of different exercises. So for me, because I, I would say that I'm lower body dominant, like I don't have a lot of upper body anything, like you know my, my um, boobies are very small, my arms they're quite toned, they're very muscular should I say I don't have a lot of fat but I'm lower body dominant so I have like thighs I have a little bit of hip I got a little bit of booty and I knew I wanted to, to just build on that and just build muscle mass in a healthy way so the exercises that I was doing in the gym that I'm still doing in the gym are um hip thrust of course hip thrust train your glutes like your gluteus maximus the biggest um glute muscle I did a lot of squats and guys, I can't lie, I'm not a fan of squats. I'm not a fan of hip thrusts, but I'm also not a fan of squats. They hurt. I've started to do different variations because the standard squat with a barbell on your back, it hurts. It hurts. So yeah, I know it grows the booty and everything, but damn, I don't like pain. I also do... Um, Romanian deadlifts, um, standard deadlifts, step ups, there's a lot of exercises that I do, um, yeah, and it's been going pretty well, can't lie, I don't like the pain, but the results, completely worth it, it's completely worth it. <laughs> I would advise anyone that wants to gain weight in a healthy way to just start, so if that is you, just start you won't regret it i went from a size four to six to a solid size eight right now i'm a size eight guys soon i'm gonna be a size 10 because i've been putting in work i've been eating even right now i'm hungry <laughs> i'm hungry right now but yeah i've been eating she getting a little bit thick she getting thick thick <laughs> um yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.